Hi everyone, this is Corinne with I'm a Dieting Diva. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick weight loss update for this week. I should have done it Tuesday, but had family in town for Memorial Day, so I'm just now getting to it. I lost another 0.8 pounds for the week, which is pretty good. Um, so that puts me at over 13 pounds total weight loss. So I'm not losing quite as fast as I wanted to lose, and my body's not making up its mind. I kind of picked the figure that was um, in between. I don't like to step on the scale every day because my weight fluctuates so much. So I stepped on the scale... Let's see, I weighed myself last Monday. I did the weigh-in and told you all what it was. But I stepped on the scale Tuesday. I lost a pound. I stepped on the scale Wednesday and lost another pound. And now um, uh, I weighed in this Wednesday. So it would have been another week after that. It looks like I went up again. So, you know, I don't think my body can make up its mind. But I'm picking kind of the median there because it looked like I'd lost two pounds and then, I don't know, it came back on or maybe it's water weight. So I'm going to say it's 0.8 right now because that's what it looks like. So this is actually over another week because I should have done my weigh in Monday, but I did it Wednesday. So, at least I'm still in losing mode. I'm still drinking the water when I first wake up and the glass before every meal. Still drinking my green tea in the afternoon and getting the cheat day in there because that is supposed to refuel your low carb diet. If you're doing low fat diet, I don't think that counts. I think you just need to stick with. Um, you know, the number of calories that you need to eat to lose weight. So I'm going to stick with that. I've been walking 25 to 30 minutes um, three times a, a week, and that's been working pretty good. I'm going to keep doing what I know to do as far as that goes. Um, another thing that I learned is that you don't go to these simplified burger places. There's just nothing on the menu but burgers. So we went to Five Guys yesterday and um, they just have a very simple menu. I wouldn't recommend it for if you're in any kind of a diet actually. I don't, there's really no good low fat options. There's not, not really any good low carb options. I ended up getting a burger that's like two patties without the bun, which is good. I mean, it tastes good and everything, but just go there if you're on a cheat day or if you've saved up all your carbs to go over there and have some french fries because there's no side it, um, items there. So I kind of took a handful of french fries because I know a small potato, probably about that size, is uh, 20 carbohydrates, so I just did that. Took about a handful, about what 20 would be. Next week, I, I've i got a booked up weekend, so I'm probably not going to do a video. Next week, and then the week after that, I'm going to a conference. I'm actually going to um, like a little film camp, so hopefully I learned some really good stuff to bring back to this channel to better communicate to you all on my weight loss and also um, how to give you all tips in a better way. So I hope that goes well. So the next two weeks I will not be giving any weight loss updates. Um, I will say that I forgot to tell you that if you haven't watched my previous videos, there's something called carb cycling or just a way to um, kind of refuel your low carb diet. And 
I actually have them on my feed because I did like these videos on other people's channels and some health professionals and they can tell you it in a technical way. They, uh, they have an understanding of schooling behind it so I would recommend you go to my feed and there's there, it's called carb cycling and one was like why low carb diets don't work but really what he was saying was here's why you can run into diet stalls on low carb diets and here's what to do to keep that from happening. So I would recommend that video even though the title is a little misleading. So if you're having trouble losing weight, if you run into that problem, check out those videos. I think they're very helpful. Um, I had stalled down to about 0.2 of a pound and introduced a cheat day or cheat meal depending on my schedule for the week and so now it went back up to 0.8 of a pound um, almost a whole pound a week so it you know quadrupled the weight loss so it is helping and so I would recommend you check those out to know exactly how to do them um, the right way I guess I should do a little twirl around too so you can see any weight loss. I don't know that you can see it. I just want to do this to compile it at the end to do a video of the before and after. So there you have it. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe in the top left corner. And don't forget to leave comments below if you have some good information that other dieters need, that something that would help us out. Please don't forget to um, just leave us some information. Um, tell us about your weight loss. It's um, crucial that we get those encouraging um, testimonials of how other people have done it and what's worked for them so we can incorporate those into our diet plans and get to our goal weight faster, get lean and healthy. Um, don't forget to uh, check out some of my other videos. I have some links up in the top left and right hand corner.